by improving your EQ, you can increase your flexibility and your ability to listen, adapt and change, and reduce stress considerably. We talked about Daniel Boone in 1986, basically coined and phrased uh, emotional intelligence. And a good portion of what we're going to be doing today is, first of all, taking a survey and understanding where we, where we line up and the rating of emotional intelligence. And where are we on the stress indicators? We have a workbook here, and we're going to look at some of the things that we consider stressful, and we're going to rate ourselves. So we're going to see the correlation. Top performance. IQ contributes about 20%. The survey says EQ contributes about 80%. Again, it's not all about how much you know and utilize that information from a behavioral standpoint. We talk about EQ, oral. Communications, the spoken communication tends to be the most powerful, preferred communication. Earlier we talked about when we were looking at text messages and emails and how important it is when we can to move away from that and have that interaction which is key. Written. A lot of us do this a lot. It's faster in some cases. The challenge that we have too is dealing with a generation or a culture that text happy. Okay. Um, and that in itself moves you away from the interaction with others. Very important. It's, in, it's something simplistic as when you look at children youngsters. Uh, if you eliminate the focus on the electronic gadgets and have to do more social things, remember back in the days we had the Parcheesis in the world and the Monopolies in the world? Those are interactive type things. There's not too much interaction going on with this. And again, I talk about that because that's the foundation. That's what's happening to the culture. But we need to understand and to how to communicate this to the different culture and the younger generations important. How often have we done transactions with our internal stakeholders, with students or coworkers, where they are really fixated with those electronic gadgets? Quite annoying in the person. One of the things that I strongly believe and from the readings is that if we are able to master and have self-control and impulse control and willpower, this is ultimate in emotional intelligence. Something that I talk about often, and, and this is aside maybe from a biblical sense, um, it's about being able to control your emotions and back long, long time ago, prophets and in biblical terms, they did fasting fasting, meditating. Why did they do that? To control their emotions, to think. Very, very important. If you can control your emotions and your desires and willpower, that's, that's key to a lot of different things. We're going to talk about that in some of our exercises. We are losing everything we are doing from the marketing to some of the dangers of uh, ineffective habits comes in this area here. Impulsive, not being able to control ourselves. Very, very well. Look at the TV show set. Look what's happening. Very important also as not just <coughs> understanding how to control ourselves, our, our emotions, our, our, our willpower, but understanding that rewarding others, uh, useful feedback, mentoring is all part of emotional intelligence. Those leaders have a, uh, coaches, counselors, mentors, have a strong understanding of it's not just about your success, it's about others. If we do not lead a job, a relationship, where someone has learned something or moved ahead, we have not been successful. Let me say that one more time. We have to make an impact. Very, very important. That's what success really is. 
one of the things I'm going to talk about, and we we'll talk a little bit about a checklist as we go forward, is <coughs> we talked, um, we can't get away from this point for long, okay? We talk about no substitute for one-on-one -on -one communication. We talk about um, existing, existing skills overcoming through your limitations, knowing the cause and effect of communication breakdowns, and empathizing. I'm trying to understand what others are thinking, what others are feeling. It's, it's really, really important for us to diffuse arguments and trying to put ourselves in other shoes, be it in whatever relationship that we're interacting with. Student, parent, significant other. Very, very important. Those successful people understand that. I'm going to try to understand you. Okay? You hear that often. I'm going to try to understand you. Before we even get into the, the stress management piece uh, of this and emotional intelligence, give me some, in your mind, let's take a quick exercise so I can get you up. Give me some leadership examples of leaders that you guys, with now the, uh, an understanding of emotional intelligence and IQ, give me an example of who you feel have a good balance from a leader perspective. Hello. That's all right. From a leader perspective or someone in, in, that you've seen um, in the media that you feel have a good balance of EQ. Anyway, throw that in. Dalai Lama. Excellent. But why? Tell me why. Some of the things we talked about. Tell me why. He had a sense of humor. Very important. Very important. Very important. And it's funny because that's not typically what you would hear from other people. But that's important. That's important. Understanding that we should not be stressed by too many things in this world. Let things roll over and try to understand it. It's important to understand behaviors and things, but let's work on managing stress. A little humor is important. And as I digress a little bit, understanding that laughing is in key. Laughing is important. Smiling is important. How many of us here, and talk about digressing, had the opportunity to see the movie with uh, Sandra Bullock and McCarthy. Heat, I think it was Heat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah they were police really officers. Very, very funny. Take your time to look at something like that. Very, very funny. Long time ago, we were aging ourselves. Abbott and Cassell, Warren Hardy, things like that. Those were good days, those were good times. What are we leaning towards now as a society? More reality shows. There's no funniness in reality shows. Well, right. Laughter is funny at someone else's expense. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Reality and then reality. Excellent. So. Disrespect and all that disrespect. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, Dan Lama is one. Thank you. I need two more. I need two more. <laughs> um, he's no longer with us, but uh, Nelson Mandela was somebody who made it. Absolutely. It is empathy. It is Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. It was more. Yes, sir. I was going to say Ronald Reagan. Yes. Ironically, he's on that list. He's on that list. He's on that list. Very, very important. Difference between IQ and EQ. We need a combination of both. A combination of both helps us in society, helps us in our workplace and definitely helps us in stressful, stressful situations. What I want to do now is I want to make sure that I'm go through something that, um, that I find is really, really important. And where is it? Oh, hello. Look at over there. I want to show you something. And I want to see if we all in agreement. We all have units at some point. They've been doing it a little bit. Now, they say it was another story, but I've been doing it a little bit. Right this way. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. I'm going to. What I'm going to do is 
We're gonna take some numbers. I'm gonna say you're gonna do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Remember your number. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Remember your number. You are number one. Two. Two. Three. Remember your number. One. Two. Three. Remember your number. One. Two. Three. Remember your number. One. Good. One's over there. All one sleeves get over there. And uh, we're going to take a marker. Number two's got right there. And three's over here. I have to keep my hand on the marker. That's a marker for you. That's one's over there. There's two's over here. Your prison chips are better than mine. Over here. The three. We're two. We get All right. You're three. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. That's perfect.